Hey guys, so yeah, another video. I know it's only been two days. Um, I have some free time again, so yay. And also I'm just telling you, movies, movies, movies coming up. I'm doing a film this, well, I, we filmed it yesterday and I'm editing it today. And it's for Friday, our movie night thing. It's like almost this superheroes ACAD thing. And it's kind of like a every time it ends, it ends on a, a suspense and like cliffhanger. So the students every month for the movie night, they make up their own skit or uh, video, animation, anything they want that has to do with the the story and they continue it on that type of thing so that's gonna be uploaded lots of fun really funny uh, it, it'll be great I'm excited for it another thing is I just got an assignment for a project that takes five weeks to do this this time round, and I'm really pumped for it it's gonna be I'm doing a video as well um, but this is gonna be like a little full-length movie but it's gonna be way better than my jpod one I'm doing in collaboration with a girl named Carissa Hendricks, which I'll give you her YouTube link on here. She's amazing, and we both love films, so we're trying to do some films together. And this is a silent film, and it's based off of her storyline. I don't really want to talk too much about it because I want it to be a surprise. But it's going to be completely awesome, and I'm so excited to start filming it. And I'm going to put it up on here for you guys, obviously. And yeah, excited. I also had a critique today in my class. Um, I did this project that was dealing with obsolete technology and turning it into something else. So what I was doing, I decided to deal with this uh, theory in quantum physics called uh, Schrodinger, Schrodinger's, I can't say that name, CAD, which is like, I don't know if you've heard about this, I'll, I'll send you a link to it because I don't want to explain it in full length, it'll take me a while. It's kind of a paradox theory. Anyway, so I called this Schrodinger's mouse, and it's basically uh, a mouse that I was going to turn robotic so it would move around, but it had a solar panel on it. And it would be covered in this cage by this cheesecloth type thing, and the more people would take it off, depending if they wanted to, it would move around so much or not so much, that type of thing, based on random events. So I couldn't get the robotic parts to work because I had motors from disk drives and all this stuff, but they just, they started working and then they died on me, and then I've been trying to get parts, and it's so hard without ordering something online, and it was due today, so didn't have enough time. But I ended up just making it into a sculpture, and I wanted to show you guys, so I'll show you what it looks like. So it's actually holding together better than it was before, but uh, basically... These are two disk drives here, um, can't see on the other side, but uh, the cage is made out of hangers and wires and all sorts of things, and then the mouse is in there, and he did move around for a while. And I cover it up with a cheesecloth and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what I've been doing in school lately and what I've been really busy doing, but I have Mondays off now, so I'm going to be way into a lot more things and around more. As for the people wondering what I'm doing with history stuff, um, that's not totally out the window. I've actually been doing a lot of art dealing with history, and uh, one of my ideas was how we kind of take history for granted, and it's like dirt under our shoes, and we don't even care, and we're walking over it. And there's the idea of how things like the Colosseum are soon going to be only guide tours, you can't walk around by yourself, that type of thing, and it's going to cost money to go in there because people are taking pieces of rock off of the actual Colosseum and it's actually making it collapse eventually in the future. That's how many pieces are taken off of it, which is kind of frustrating and annoying at the same time, but it happens. So I'm doing some series of artworks dealing with that, so I'll be showing you guys that eventually too. Yay! So I'm sorry I've been like N -n 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 to the camera, but uh, got a lot of things to do, and I just wanted to keep you updated and do something fun for a bit. So I'll catch you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Still, uh, it's nice to hear from you guys again, and I'm glad that you didn't forget about me. It's really nice to know, and congrat congratulations, Steve, for getting 100 subscribers. That's really amazing, and you totally beat me.